Hello friends, followers and channel members, welcome to another video here in Microsoft Flight Simulator and it's a quick video for you today as we take a look at the newly updated FSLTL traffic. So the team at FSLTL have started the year with an update to both their base models and also their flight injector. Now, for me personally, FSLTL traffic is a no-brainer when it comes to both adding models for vPilot and model matching when flying on the VATSIM network, or even if you just fly online and you want some real-world traffic, either just static aircraft parked at the gate, or whether you actually want the injector to run in the background and inject live traffic into a Microsoft Flight Simulator. And all of the live traffic that it injects is based off real-time data from Flight Radar. 24. That is, however, that it picks up aircraft and their transponders from Flight Radar 24, injects it into the simulator, but once it has been injected into the simulator, it is no longer controlled by Flight Radar 24's positioning. It is then all controlled by Azobo's default air traffic control. But even with that said, it means that everything you're seeing in the simulated world around you is all based off live data, which is really very impressive. And we're going to take a little look at that a little bit later on in this video. The new update for the base models features lots of new liveries. They also feature things like variable length contrails. So not every contrail you now see in the sky will be the same length, which is of course much more realistic. They've also updated flight models as well and also added effects to different aircraft. Too. The new traffic injector update has also added the option to now independently adjust the radius for aircraft being injected into the simulator on the ground versus in the air. What that means is you can be sat on the ground at an airport and just have traffic on the ground injected at that airport, so around maybe 20 kilometers say, but you can have air traffic set up to 100 kilometers away. This means that you're not just setting a one size fit it's all traffic injector radius of say 100 kilometers for the air but also getting that on the ground because obviously that would then populate all of the airports around you which you actually can't see so that has the ability to then reduce the load on your simulator meaning better frame rates the update itself of course is done via the fly-by-wire installer and as it's hosted by fly by wire as you would expect it's just incredibly easy you can tell an update is available by the bright orange button on the right hand side it doesn't take very long to download and install the injector at all that's a pretty small file the base models however that's a little bit bigger so download times will change obviously depending upon the speed of your uh, internet but as you can see it's around three and a half gigabytes so now that we've got the new injector updated and installed, as well as the new base models, let's go and see just how accurate it is following Flight Radar 24. For example, if we head to, let's say, Lisbon, we can then zoom in and obviously we'll see what aircraft are actually on the ground there. We'll get ourselves loaded in in, uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator, and then I'll take you through my settings for the, uh, the FSLTL injector to see how closely we can get that traffic being displayed. Now I'm just going to set a, uh, a parking space right out of the way and we shall uh, let that load. Okay so here we are spawned in at Lisbon. I'm now going to run the traffic injector and then I'll bring that on screen and you can see how I'm going to set this up. So there has been a slight change since FSLTL traffic was first introduced into how you set up the parameters and let me just quickly take you through those. So uh, do I want to change these for the moment? I'm just going to select yes so we can edit these uh, ourselves. So. The first thing is the maximum IFR aircraft. This used to be anywhere between 0 and 10. Now that usually worked in terms of a percentage I believe, so obviously 10 was the highest, 0 being disabled. Well now it actually wants you to specify how many in particular aircraft you want spawned into the sim. So obviously 10 is, is not very merry. I can uh, set up 300 if you wish. I'm not sure if there's a, a limited uh, amount you can pop in here. Obviously remember the more uh, aircraft you have flying around in your simulator, the more work your CPU graphics 
graphics card is going to have to undertake so frame rates can be affected but just for this example I'm going to select a 300 IFR aircraft no VFR aircraft I'm going to remove all parked aircraft which means that everything I see in the simulator is going to be a sort of a live aircraft so to speak um, now you can also uh, check the absolute parked aircraft maximum per airport so even uh, when you've got just live traffic on you can set a limit as to how many aircraft are going to be sat parked at the gate I'm going to uh, turn this up to uh, 50 as you can see and then the maximum radius to inject the airborne aircraft well as I'm just going to be concentrating my uh, plane spotting so sweet here in Lisbon then I don't see any need to go any further than 50 kilometers outside of where we uh, where we actually are uh, radius to inject the ground aircraft exactly the same and and uh, blocked aircraft removal time so when uh when a particular aircraft gets sort of stuck within the simulator which can happen then the injector will remove them i've got that set to 60 seconds but you can obviously uh, set your own at 30 second intervals now i don't currently use um, the flightplantdatabase.com website if you do then all it means is you can pop the uh, the api key in there and it means that your aircraft will fly more realistic traffic patterns around the world doesn't really bother me and certainly if you just sat based at an airport plane spotting for example then it really doesn't matter uh, too much I'm going to disable the blank liveries and I'm going to disable generic uh, models just so we know that everything we see is going to look realistic we'll give that a second and now it'll obviously speak to flight radar 24 and port this in so we can see here on screen everything that it's ported in a bit easier if I just uh, extend the uh, extend the, the window and uh, yeah so here we go obviously plenty of tap air portugal flights um, as well and if i have a quick look at flight radar 24 the chances are that these aircraft that you can see here are going to be the aircraft now that have been uh, loaded in to the sim and the one that stuck out for me was the uh, the emirates 192 which is uh, in my simulator now a triple uh, seven and i'm pretty certain if we click on here and get some information as well there you can see it's a triple seven now, doesn't mean that where they appear in Flight Radar 24 on the ground, that is exactly where they are going to be in Microsoft Flight Simulator, but I'm sure if I had a look around, there it is, there's the Swiss Air and there's the Emirates shown as well. And um, yeah, this means that pretty much everything that now pops up on Flight Radar 24, we are going to see in Microsoft Flight Simulator. And you've seen the installations dead easy and uh, each update, they make advances and make improvements to their flight injector as well. So really highly recommended. Certainly the uh, the easiest AI traffic mod uh, on the market. I say of on the market, of course it is free, but the easiest um, AI traffic mod for Microsoft Flight Simulator. And to be perfectly honest, I, uh, I see it as also being uh, the most realistic. I'd love to know what you guys think. I know that people still use uh, AIG traffic and of course, there is also a uh, simple traffic, a payware add-on as well. I'd love to know, leave a comment down below. What are you currently using for your uh, AI traffic in Microsoft Flight Simulator? Are you using uh, FSLTL, AIG, or even uh, simple traffic? One of the other things to point out as well is if you don't want to keep bringing up the traffic injector every single time, then what you can do instead is you can actually use the inbuilt menu from the Azobo Microsoft Flight Simulator toolbar at the top. You can use that as well to set all of these how you wish, for example, using the sliders, as you can see just here in the video, and then uh, and then when you're happy, you can just reset the uh, traffic injector, and that will then start to uh, to pull things in just as it does the same in, um, in the actual window just here. But obviously, it's a little bit more user-friendly just to use the the uh, inbuilt injector window rather than having to tap out of your flight simulator to go to the injector. If you use the FSLTL models and liveries for your model matching when flying on the VATSIM network, then following this update, of course, it has lots of new models and lots of new liveries. So you are going to need to update your VMR model matching file in vPilot. Now, the great thing about FSLTL is when you download their installer, you will find in the base folder in your community folder, they've already placed a VMR file that works perfectly with vPilot.
uh, already in there so you don't need to go and create one yourself all you have to do then of course is get vpilot go into your settings and then from here under model matching you then need to select custom rules and add or remove a custom rule set placing the new file in this box now this is actually my old one so i'm just going to remove that add the custom rule set navigate back to where that file was which is just here and then we can apply that and following that if we now connect to the vatsim network you'll see that once we hit connect other users aircraft will start appearing and of course all in the right liveries and airframes so i hope you have found this video useful and of course if you have please don't forget to leave a like again do leave a comment and let me know what you are currently using for your vatsim model matching or just your basic ai aircraft within microsoft flight simulator love to hear what you guys think as well of this new update and how well fsltl is running on your system if you are a current user of it thank you so much i'll look forward to seeing you all in the next video if you are new to the channel don't forget to hit that subscribe button and of course turn on the notifications bell so you don't miss any future content or of course our live streams. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye bye for now.